Hi, this is uh, Melissa Rachel Black from TheEatTeam.com. We are on a round-the-world trip to interview artists and chefs for a artist recipe cookbook. And right now I'm in Chiang Mai, Thailand, in the north. And I just wanted to show you um, what I brought, uh, as what I packed. And a few of you have asked, so I decided that I would show you um, the minimalist version of a woman's long-term travel pack. So I'll show you a, um, an overview of what I have and then then we'll pack it away. All right, here we go. So a short overview. This is everything um, that I brought. Here's my backpack, my handbag. Um, that was great because for my long haul flight I didn't even have to check anything and that was, you know, no hassle. Um, just straightforward. So, yeah, we'll get started. Um, first of all, my clothes. Um, I definitely brought a lot less clothes than I used to bring on a trip of this uh, scale. Um, obviously, you would think, oh, I, maybe I'm gone for six to eight months. Like, how can I bring everything that I want to bring in just one small bag? Or, in my case, in the past, a giant backpacker's bag, which, you know, um, you walk around, it's sweltering, you don't know where you're going, and you're lugging it on the train, off the train, it's no good. So I decided, um, I decided to go the minimalist route and just take really the basic necessities. So, yeah, um, first things first, I have, um, I have one pair of shorts, much needed for holiday, travel, backpacking, hiking, whatever. Um, it's really freaking hot in Thailand right now, um, so much needed, got that. Then I have um, two shirts, one of which I'm wearing right now. Um, they're both they're, they're exactly the same shirt, uh, but one is purple and one is black. And I really like this brand, it's called Icebreaker, um, and it's made of uh, like the highest quality wool that you can find, which is merino wool. Um, it comes from a sheep in New Zealand. And this, this company just makes extremely high quality uh, clothing. It's, uh, it doesn't stink, it doesn't stretch, and it's, it's, worth, it's well worth the, the expensive price, ta price tag that comes with it. Um, you can wear it for days on end, and it doesn't smell magical. Alright, um, then we have my long sleeve t-shirt. Um, this was definitely necessary on the plane ride. It was, you know, it gets cold, it gets chilly up in there. And actually, at night here in Chiang Mai, it gets pretty chilly as well. Um, so comes in handy. And we're supposed to go to Australia next month, so probably just gonna throw it away. It's not really a special shirt to me. It just keeps me warm. Guess I'll have to fold that later. Um, I also have this white scarf. It's really handy because sometimes I use it as a blanket, sometimes I use, I use it as a towel, sometimes as a shawl if you're going to a temple and you need to cover up. Just a perfect, like, lightweight, cheap scarf. Um, it's getting dirty, but I'm going to just throw it away as soon as I need to and free up some space in my bag. Um, I have one long black dress um, that I use when it's a little bit chillier and sometimes just for a dinner or going out a long black dress made of cotton. Um, I have this other pair of shorts, which is actually a swimsuit. Um, I got it at Target. It's good. I like it that uh, that it's short. Um, but it smells kind of weird. The material is strange. But anyways, and it goes with this swimsuit top. Standard. Um, and I have one pair of jeans which I brought only for the airplane because it was going to be chilly. And as it turns out, it's been quite useful up here in the north of Thailand. Um, as I said, it gets cold, so I used it for that. I have let's see, five pairs of underwear. I wash them in the shower when they get dirty. And when I have the luxury of a, a real proper washing machine wash, then I do that. Um, I have four pairs of socks, although I'm probably going to throw away a few pairs because I haven't been wearing shoes very often, only for hiking and trekking. Um, let's 
see, I have an umbrella. Uh, that hasn't come in handy yet, but I'm assuming it will. Um, and if not, I'm just going to send it home or throw it away. I have um, three pairs of shoes. Actually, four pairs. I have shower flip-flops. Uh, just because we've been staying in some funny places, and it's nice to have have shoes in the shower. Um, walking shoes and running shoes. I've been storing my dirty laundry in there just to kind of conserve space. Um, I have this silk liner, this cocoon mummy liner. Um, that's been really nice because sometimes um, you don't have an ideal sleeping situation. You just want to feel a little bit closer to like something familiar. It's nice to have this. It's really compact um, and it also doubles really great as like a sleeping bag inside of, uh, as a sheet inside of a sleeping bag. Um, I have a mosquito net since I, we're in Thailand. Um, not been really necessary. I thought there was going to be a lot of places where uh, like malaria was a big issue, but um, it's really not as scary as, as I could ever have imagine there's only a couple of places um, that are prone to it over here so this has been um, not ne not so necessary getting bit a lot still don't have malaria still alive it's great um, when we get to Australia I'm gonna send this back home um, and that's it for clothes uh, I have I have quite a lot of toiletries I think that's where the difference between men minimalism and women's minimalism comes in because women use a lot more products uh, in general. Um, anyways, yeah, I have shampoo and conditioner, sunscreen, face moisturizer, uh, razor, soap, face scrub, uh, contact lens solution, antibiotics just in case of uh, traveler's diarrhea that was recommended to me. Haven't needed it, which is awesome. Um, ibuprofen, just in case, you know, headache, cramps, it's my go-to drug. Glide floss, the best floss in the world. It's so smooth, you will never floss again with another floss once you try this, I promise. Chapstick, cherry chapstick, I have three of them because it's my thing, I need it. Katy Perry may have ruined it for me a little bit, but it's still my favorite. Um, Q-tips, deodorant, probably should have gotten a smaller one because it's huge. And besides, girls don't smell, right? Uh, mosquito repellent. Um, I got this at the 7-Eleven in Thailand. It's a lot cheaper than buying some in U.S., so I would recommend if you're going to travel to Thailand, just buy it here. This is a gift, Tiger Balm. It's, um, I think it's menthol, peppermint, but you rub it on your temples and, and, uh, just anywhere, basically, and it kind of soothes you. It says... Tiger Balm, for relief of muscular aches and pains, sprains, stuffy nose, flatulence, insect bites, and itchiness. So, great all-around product. I have one towel. Um, I got one of those, like, microfiber towels because it's light and it dries quickly. However, I think that I should have gotten a bigger size because it doesn't cover me. Anyways, it's been hot, so it doesn't really matter. But I like to kind of cozy up in my towel after a shower, so... I'm gonna get a bigger towel at the next opportunity. Um, what else? Earplugs, necessary. Emodium. Bobby pins. Contact lens, one of them, that's not good. Eyeliner sharpener. Yeah, I have I have a few more um, toiletries in here. Just toothpaste, toothbrush. <coughs> eyeliner, mascara, uh, concealer, and toothpaste, toothbrush, oh, and mycetracin, just in case of any cuts. <coughs> <coughs> it's freaking dry out here. Uh, what else? So, oh, my Diva Cup. So instead of
tampons, ladies, this is amazing for uh, your periods. It's like a little cup, and it, um, it's just great. It's reusable for up to a year. Well, anyways, it's kind of stuck in there, but it's a little cup, and it's just magical. It's, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I highly recommend it. It's $25. It lasts you the whole year. You don't make waste. You don't make a mess. It's just perfect. Glasses necessary. I'm blind. I'm wearing contacts right now. Um, all right. On to electronics. Um, this is my camera bag. <coughs> what we're videoing on right now is my point and shoot. I have it for video and for uh, wide angle shots. Um, I've had the same. I'm a photographer. I've been paid as a photographer for the last few years, and it's my passion. It's my main squeeze. I've been doing it for almost ten years now. And I still have the same camera from the last four or five years. It's a Canon Rebel XTI um, with a 50 millimeter prime lens. Highly recommend both of these products. They're so old now that uh, you could get them for I don't know two or three hundred dollars. And it's just it's perfect. It's a, an SLR. It changes lenses. It, I mean, it's just really high quality. You don't need the latest gadgets uh, to make good photography. And yeah, it's perfect. Um, I keep my money in here, I keep one credit card in here, and one in my wallet. Um, this is the bag that I take out with me on a daily basis. don't need much else. It's not fashionable, but <coughs> it's fine with me. I'm on... I'm traveling. Um, I have my drawing tablet for doing illustrations, graphic design, Wacom, bamboo. Um, <coughs> have an iPod, really old, still works, awesome. Haven't even used it once this trip, which is cool. I've just been too busy meeting people and hanging out and, yeah. Uh, I have a Kindle for reading. Um, obviously there's going to be 20 books that I want to take with me on any given trip, so this way I can, I can read in the sun. I love my Kindle. Um, business card holder. My crappy Nokia phone. I love it because it's just its just simple. You don't need anything fancy on this phone. It's just for calling, for texting. It never breaks. I've used it for every trip that I've ever gone on. It's unlocked. It costs something like $15. Perfect. I forgot my charger, so I picked this up at 7-Eleven for something like $5. It's, it's a go anywhere plug, basically, and it's a USB cable that just plugs into the wall. I love these things. And it comes with interchangeable pieces, so you can use it for any phone, basically. There's iPod, Samsung, camera, like, it does the whole deal. And it gets extended. I love it. Um, and it came with a car charger as well. Charger, passport. Um, I have this dispos disposable camera from my friend uh, Alex. He blogs at hedgerama.com. And basically, um, it says, you have in your hands one of the disposable cameras we have sent around the world. Here's a basic summary of what we'd love you to do during your travels. Take five pictures, including one photo of you and the traveler who gave you this camera, and um, send it with another traveler. So at the end of 30 pictures, it's been probably around the world, seen a lot of different things, been in a lot of different hands. And then you just send it back, and they, they publish it on the blog. It's great. I have my MacBook, old but trusty. I have a notebook for notes. And I have um, samples of my company, which is a letterpress greeting, car greeting cards um, with funny rap jokes on them, printed in like an ironic way. Got a text message. Um, yeah, so for example, shorty you the best, damn you the sexy bitch. Um, love it, and that is about it. Um, I could stuff everything in here right now, but that's going to probably take an extra ten minutes, and I think that you have a uh, limited time, so we're going to wrap it up now. I will post a photo of my packed belongings inside of it, um, and thanks for watching. Um, don't forget, pack light. You will not regret it. All right. See you soon. Check out theeatteam.com for more updates on our trip. Alright, bye!